Hey there, BZ people. We are back with the seventh episode of our second season on Pokemon Showdown. And this episode is actually a very special episode. Uh, we are facing off against one of you, the BZ people. Uh, Nicholas, he's been on the... He was in last season. He had a match against me with my... Uh, I believe it was the NU team. Um, he's once a rematch with a, one of our mono teams. And uh, so I went ahead and I did that with him. Um, so go ahead and leave a like down below if you are excited to see me battle one of the BZ people. And if you would like to be in one of these episodes and face me, go ahead, build a mono team, leave me a message in the uh, uh, comment on one of these videos, and we will make something happen. Uh, but let's go over who is on our team first. I think you know who's on our team, but I, just, I, mean, I might need a little refresher. He, you might need a little, people need refreshers. Um, so to start off this refresher, we have Envy, the Mega Venusaur, with Toxic, Synthesis, Giga Drain, and Venishock. Uh, he gets thick fat when he Mega Evolves. No ice, no fire shall harm me as much as it should be the plot. Um, next up on our team, we have Tree Beer, the Trevenant, pairing the Lumberry with the Harvest ability, uh, Horn Leech, Leech Seed, Toxic, and Rest. Uh, we also have Fernando de Rosary, with the Assault Vest and Natural Cure abilities, carrying the Dazzling Gleam, the Extra Sensory abilities, the Leaf Storm, and the Hidden Power Rock. Uh, we also have Devourer, the Rotom Mo, uh, with Choice Scarf and Levitate ability, Hex, Will O Wisp, Volt Switch, and Trick. Um, we also have Pixie, the Celebi, with Life Orb, Natural Cure, U Turn, Zen Headbutt, Ancient Power, and Synthesis. Uh, it's a mostly physical Celebi with a little special thrown in there because I can. Um, I really just want a rock type move on him and Fernando in case we went up against any ice, flying, or fire types that um, we might be weak against. Really should have put. Uh, what's it called? Lilligant? No, not Lilligant. Gosh, I can't think of his name right now, but it's the rock grass type from Gen 3, the fossil Pokemon. Um Cradlily? Cradlily. Something like that. Uh, but to finish off our team, we have Spike, the Therathorn, with the Rocky Helmet and the Iron Barbs ability, uh, with Rest, Leech Seed, Knock Off, and Stealth Rocks. So that is who we have on our team. Let's go ahead and... Uh, unfortunately, at the time, I wasn't able to record this live, so we do have a, uh, a, re a replay to go over, and... Um, I do, I'm going to pause in between each move, give you my thoughts in this situation. Um, hopefully it'll be the same thoughts I had in the battle, but we will find out. Uh, so looking at his team, he has an Alakazam, which guessing on his team, either that Alakazam or the Latias is most likely his Mega. Uh, in case you couldn't tell, he has a Psychic mono theme team. Um, I'm going to guess that that Alakazam is his Mega because it's Mega Alakazam. Um, and he has, uh, as I said, the Latias, and uh, Hoopa Unbound, the Azelf, which I've seen a lot of Azelfs in competitive use be used as kind of a tanky setup guy, you know, getting the hazards and stuff, so that's most likely his lead. Uh, Cresselia, which we know makes an amazing tank, but I'm not sure if she has other roles or not. And Starmie, which we've witnessed ourselves in the Christmas special, is an amazing, amazing uh, psychic type. So I'm going to assume that he's leading with the Azelf, and I want to lead with Spike. Uh, nothing else. Get my rocks up to do a little bit of damage. Uh, he has knockoff, so he's going to hurt a lot of things on his team. And... Let's see if I can find the music. Uh, we'll turn that off. Just because it's too loud. Um, so he does leave with the Azelf. And uh, the Azelf 
does uh, start by thunder waving me um, and in this moment I thought well I could go for stealth rocks or I could go for the knockoff right away try and get rid of whatever healing item or whatever this guy has and try and ma maybe take him out in one hit and as you can see we do get a crit we knock off his focus sash which is ironic and we almost do take him out Azov does go for the stealth rocks and I believe I go for my thunder wave here oh no sorry leech seed and so we do take out the Azov it was a very good start for us. Um, now, uh, Nicholas, I believe here he sends out Hoopa. I, I was not going to actually guess that. Uh, at this point, I think I want to set up my stealth rocks and then get out of here. Um, Hoopa uses Dark Pulse, which as you can see did a decent chunk to me. So I'm glad I went for stealth rocks and not something else because we got to move off this way. Uh, I think at this point I decide it doesn't really pay to switch out. I don't want anything else to take that move, so I'm just going to go for, I think I went for Leech Seed here, maybe Knock Off. Uh, but we do see that Hoopa does have the Life Orb. I decide to send Pixie out, um, try and get a U-Turn off, because that U-Turn is going to be four times effective against a Psychic and Dark type. Uh, Hoopa realizes what I'm going for. Sorry. Nicholas does, and he decides to send out his Latias instead. Um, and this is a really good opportunity for us. Um, we do have Fernando who has Dazzling Gleam. Uh, so we decide to U-turn out into Fernando, uh, and we go for that Dazzling Gleam. And um, I think Latias, okay, Latias heals here. As you can see, we do go for the Dazzling Gleam. Which we can see is this could be a very long game. Latias recovering. I uh, actually went for the defog to get rid of the stones here. We went for another dazzling game. Um, and Latias could very easily just uh, heal here, but it switches out. So we get to hit the uh, Cresselia with the dazzling gleam instead. Um, so right here, our best move against Cress is most likely going to be to go for all moves we have. We have extra sensory. That's not going to be the best move. That's not going to be the best move against anything on this team. Uh, extra sensory. Dragon Pulse. We don't have that. Uh, I think I switch out here. Most likely into Celebi or Trevenant. I think I go on into Trevenant here. And Cresselia sets up a wall. Uh, yes, we do go out into Treebeard. And we decide, let's go ahead and try and get this thing toxic. Or do I go for Leech Seed here? I think I go toxic. Um, oh, Cresselia is still going for the Icy Wind. Uh, dropping our speed, making us even slower than we were. And we miss the toxic, which is really unfortunate. But you know what? We decided that Icy Wind really didn't do too much to us. Let's go for another toxic and see what we can get going here. And our opponent sends out the Starmie. Um, and we missed the Leech Seed. We just were not having any luck with Treebeard. And that Starmie did a decent chunk of damage to us. We finally land Leech Seed, and I believe it puts us into a range where we can survive another attack. So, I can't remember, I think Corn Leech would have been the move to go for here. But Nicholas does switch out into Latias. And, oh, we land the Toxic, which will take that Latias out this turn, I believe. I can't believe I didn't go for Horn Leech. I guess maybe I was thinking maybe I want to set up against that Starmie. Uh, but uh, that Hoopa does come out, and unfortunately, that dark, he's faster than us. That Dark Pulse does take us out one hit. Uh, this, that Hoopa is very, very scary. We really, really need to use that Celebi to take this thing out. Uh, unfortunately, my opponent also realizes that wasn't the screen. That was me highlighting it this whole time. I'm sorry. Uh, he realizes that that is what I want to do. I go for the U-turn, 
and take a little more damage from the Rocky Helmet. Uh, Cresselia is very tough. I decided to go out into Envy here. No, nope. Roadhog no. Why didn't I go out to Envy? Um, and I think I just Volt Switch here. Because I realized I have Trick. I can't Hex. Or I could have Hexed. But uh, I couldn't will-o-wisp like I wanted to and fortunately first we did switch out with that bold switch because Cresselia did go for toxic uh, and Venusaur obviously was immune we mega evolved here and we went for I think we st still went for a toxic nope oh uh, Cresselia went for the icy wind fortunately that thick fat did made it not quite as useful and we did go for the Toxic. I wanted to start uh, Venom Shocking. But I think that Cresselia could Moonlight here. And, uh, yep, it went for the Moonlight to heal, which is fine. The longer she, and more she delays, the stronger that Toxic's gonna get. And as you saw, we just did like 30% to that Cress. Um, and here comes the Moon Blast. So, it, and it got a special attack drop, which was pretty lucky for them. Uh, we decided to start Giga Draining to start gaining some HP back. Didn't get a whole ton back, but you know, it's enough. And that Crest did miss its Icy Wind, and that Toxic is really starting to rack up on Crest. I think it goes down here. Because it's been a few turns. Um, there goes. Oh no! It, it survived one turn. Or sorry, with one HP. And it does get another boom blast off. Dropped our special attack a little more, which is too bad. Uh, but we did. Crest did go down. Um, and next comes out that Alkazam. And. We know that Alakazam is going to do something sneaky and most likely going to take out Venusaur, so we do switch out into Pixie. And we know Alakazam is very fragile. If we go for or Alakazam try to protect itself, if we go for U-turn, we could probably take that thing out. But Alakazam is faster than us. He uses Dazzling Gleam, which does a decent bit of damage, but we do survive. Um, and we do just barely survive with that, um, that life orb. And so we send Venusaur back out to face off against this beast that is Hoopa. Uh, we go for the Toxic here, I believe. Nope. Well, maybe I did select Toxic, but we'll never know because Hoopa took us out with one hit. Uh, and so my thoughts here was... If we switch into Devourer, we can use Trick and get him stuck into something that would be, you know, really possibly bad for him. Uh, no. I really should have Willow will Wisp here because what I just did was made Hoopa super fast with a really good move. And there goes our Devourer. Um, we do have two Mons left. And... So we go for Fernando. If we can land a Dazzling Gleam, we can take him out. Unfortunately, it doesn't do as much as we'd hoped. Only does 50%. Um, and we do get taken out by the next Hyperspace Fury. Which means our only chance is our Celebi being faster than a Choice Scarfed Hoopa. Which I think we all know isn't really going to happen and we do go down there um but you know what it was a fun match uh, i this easily could have gone either way if i hadn't tricked that choice scarf onto hoop up we could have come out of this with a win uh that's really how it all comes what it all comes down to um, so, you know, a good game, Nicholas. I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. If you want to have another match sometime, hit me up. We will we'll do it again. Um, I do have, well, I have another team 
it, that I'm working on getting ready for going up next on a showdown, and this team would absolutely destroy it. Uh, just type matchup would not be good. But um, like I said, I did enjoy it. If any of you guys want to have a match against me, um, let me know. I am definitely open for it. Uh, just don't expect to lose necessarily. I haven't had the best luck or best plans strategy lately. But if you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to leave a like, especially if you enjoyed seeing me face off against another BZ person. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. We bring content to you six days a week, at least we try to. Um, and it's I think it's all pretty good. I mean, it could be better, but uh, I'm learning. I'm getting better. And don't forget, this is Bork and Zim Gaming, where brilliance meets mediocrity. Thank <laughs> you.